I, I don't disagree with this. I'm saying you can't compare because physically it's so different now because I do think the bottom of the league back then didn't have the level of athletes you have now and the right. level of shooting and the level of skill, but also the game called for different things because it was played a little bit more down low and a little more physical. But yes, the best thing about modern day basketball is uh, the best thing about modern day basketball, Jimmy, for me is for Larry Bird fans, boomers like me from the eighties mm -hmm. is definitively Larry Bird would have been an absolute monster in today's NBA because of what totally. all that he could do. He would be the greatest stretch four who's ever played. He would shoot 10, 12 threes a game. He'd average 30, 32 points. He didn't shoot threes. But he would he also probably be, he would probably have to shoot threes. Wouldn't he? He would be a monster. You talk about point forward. Oh my God. Yeah. Would he be like, would he be like, um, who would he be like today? Would he be kind of like, I mean, um, Luca's a good comp. Um, no, you know why? No, Lucas because he'd have the ball. He'd have the ball in his hand a lot. He'd play a lot of point forward. Okay, but I feel like Bird plays. More Honestly, of a he'd be he, big he's man a cross game. between. He's a cross between Bird and he's a cross between Luca and Jokic. You know, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, Which yeah. yeah, that makes him. I guess that makes him pretty good. <laughs> and so you've already seen like one of the least athletic guys in the league. Jokic is the most dominant player. So Isn't you don't have it? to worry about birds. You don't have to worry about birds athleticism. It's proven that a guy right now can do it. And bird yeah. honestly was probably the same level of thinker or better and shooter and passer. passer. Yeah. And, and right. All of that stuff and rebounder. And just uh, amazing. So like Jokic is bird reincarnate just in a slightly larger body in the, in the way that he does things. I think that that's pretty much, that's the best comp, but I also think he's a little bit more agile and nimble. He wasn't athletic, right. but he was, he could move better than Jokic. Could, he could move a lot better than Jokic could move. And he would have been probably in better condition because their diet consisted of like, you know, 18 Budweiser's a night back then, you know, like <laughs> know. you yeah. could find bird at like Sullivan's tap after the game. Dude, the inspiring story about the 86 team isn't that they like worked out and blah, blah, blah and got in the best shapes of their lives. It was after a Christmas Day loss to the uh, after a Christmas Day loss to the uh, to the to, to the Knicks. They decided to give up beer for the rest of the year. That was their big sacrifice. So we're not gonna, <laughs> or is that beer thing's drink. not working? Yeah, this guy, something's not working with our with our play here. Um, that's funny. Yeah. Do wish that I was able to watch Bird play because uh, I only I only hear legendary comments about about those days. Yeah. All right. We're gonna bring in Joe Sway.